If you want to treat your Valentine to a romantic dinner full of Mexican flavors, creative cocktails, and live music, owner of El Cisne restaurant George Ferranti is here with an invitation, a bunch of delicious food, and some great cocktails. George, thanks so much for joining us again. Howdy, Alex. Uh, thanks for having me on the show this morning. Of course. It's always nice to have you. So let's start first with that creative cocktail that I mentioned. So uh, what our signature cocktail for Valentine's Day uh, this year is going to be our signature Skyline uh, Martini. Uh -huh. This is with a uh, fine French uh, vodka. Yum. A little bit of ice in the shaker there. Great goose in there. Excellent. So that's the ingredients there. And so what yes. separates this uh, martini from, uh, from really all the others? The separation between, uh, for this one is our uh, elderflower uh, liqueur. And this is, uh, gives it some floral notes and a little effervescence to it. Okay. Yeah, I've definitely never had a floral martini. So that's wanna, sort of... It, it's a little substitute for the vermouth. Okay. And, uh, but we want to do about half and half parts of a regular uh, portion of vermouth in a martini. Got it. Okay. Which is so uh, three to one, five to one. Healthy ratio. portions in there, and then you put it all in the shaker. Great. Like a true bartender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so our bartender at El Cisne is uh, Sebastian Zarate. He's been with us for about five years. Uh -huh. And uh, Chilean, he brings uh, quite a bit of a flavor profile to our uh, Black Swan tequila bar. Yeah. We feature uh, 80 different tequilas, 12 different mezcals, and uh, so we, we can make for you 20 artisanal handcrafted tequila cocktails for you other than a typical margarita. Delicious. So you have a full bar, you have creative creations like this. Now is this just for the Valentine's Day dinner or this, is this uh, around all, at all times? We serve the Skyline Martini at all times. It's one of our signature creations at El Cisne Restaurant. So look at that garnish. Little uh, mint uh, sprig and, and a lime Thank twist. Thank you. Cheers. Let me, Salud. let me try that out. I, I have to. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. Oh, George, that is delicious. I've had martinis before, but n none like this. Yeah. And so you're also going to make one of your dishes for us. What are you going to be Ooh, making a here? Spicy there. Ooh, that's hot. So we've got a uh, poblano cream here. This is the culichi sauce uh, that we'll put a, a place atop the uh, cheese crisp. Okay. Excellent. Get it simmer in there. We have uh, some fresh Gulf shrimp. Uh, we have all of our seafood is from the Sea of Cortez, just mm -hmm. six hours south of here. Uh, and uh, it's all wild caught and fresh. It's refrigerated up uh, through trucked up, and then we go pick out either the washinango, the cabrilla, mm -hmm. the gulf shrimp, or the sea scallops, uh, and fillet it right at the restaurant. And now all of this to say that we're gonna be making a cheese crisp. We're gonna be making a culichi camarones cheese crisp. So these are the, the gulf, large gulf shrimp, the uh, polvano cream sauce. Some of the ingredients of the polvano cream sauce are uh, heavy cream, the, uh, some chiles, uh, poblano chiles. Mm -hmm. These are placed in a food processor. Garlic, cilantro, black pepper, a little bit of uh, lemon and, and butter. And that'll make you a nice uh, bechamel type cream sauce with a little of uh, this wonderful color of, of, of verde. Yeah, it almost looks like a pesto, but it's, it's, it's a Mexican flavor rather than a more Italian flavor. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I've never had a cheese crisp before actually. And how would you describe it to people? It's sort of like, kind of like a Mexican pizza in a way, right? Definitely. Uh, so the cheese crisp, uh, the crisp itself is yeah. made from a flour tortilla. And this flour tortilla is um, crisp on a flat grill with butter uh, and the, with the pan placed on top of it on both sides. And okay. then it turns out to be a nice, crispy, uh, very thin crust like type style pizza. Right. Now, do you recommend that a couple shares it? Is it really for one person? Or? So uh, the, uh, it's, it's one of our appetizers on the, uh, on the LC Stains menu. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, it, it's one of the seafood, um, obviously dishes. Yeah. So we serve from three different regions at El Cisne and that's the tropical Southern region of Oaxaca and Puebla with the moles and adobo sauces. Uh, mole, chicken mole pizza is one of the other uh, appetizers that we'll be offering for the Valentine's Day special. Delicious. So you're really inspired by the flavors of Mexico. What's your philosophy when you're creating, when you're formulating recipes? What do you want them to be like? So our um, recipes were formulated uh, through generations, uh, through um, our original cooks from La Placita Cafe, mm -hmm. uh, which my father opened in 1988. Uh, he opened this restaurant with uh, Oaxacan cooks. Uh, so their names are Zoila Vasquez and Edith Vasquez. And uh, so there are where our original recipes from the tropical southern 
region came from. We've since uh, grown and incorporated other cooks, such as Alicia Gastelum is one of our head cooks. She's from Cananea, and she gives us a lot of variation on the uh, Sonoran and uh, uh, the typical dishes that you would find in a, in a Mexican restaurant, uh, such as chimichangas, right. well, chilarino, such like that. I mean, clearly you guys have such a great culture of food and, and very unique restaurant in Tucson. There's really nothing like it. And so Valentine's Day, let's talk about that because people are wanting to take their sweetie out, do something special. This is certainly a way to do it. Do people have to make uh, reservations for that day? They do. Uh, we have reservations through Open Table. You can visit our website at uh, www.elcisnerestaurant.com. Mm -hmm or you can give us a call and uh, one of our hostesses will be glad to take your reservation. They Perfect. have uh, filled up, I believe, until 6.30. So uh, we start taking reservations for dinner at four o'clock. And uh, so they're moving fast. Uh, today is uh, Monday and Valentine's Day is just coming right around the corner of Wednesday. Yeah, you don't want to procrastinate making that reservation. And as you add the final touches on there to the treat cheese crisp, it's kind of what it looks like as a final product. But I've actually got one that you completed a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put it up here so maybe one of our cameras can catch it. I think we've got a couple of them trying to get it. And while they try to get that, there it is. Look at that. So we've got that culichi sauce, the delicious shrimp, really all fresh ingredients. And it's just one of the things that you can find at El Cisne restaurant, not only just on Valentine's Day, but really all year round. It's, it's delicious food. I mean, just all the smells, the cocktails. Of course, you'll have the live music with your house musician there that people can enjoy. It's going to be such a wonderful atmosphere to sort of spread the love and enjoy the love. So right. George, as always, thank you so much for coming You're today. You're welcome. This great spread. Cheers to you. Happy Valentine's Salud. Day. Salud. And thank you for this delicious cocktail. You're welcome. <laughs> See Alex, you soon. Thank you. Now, guys, any day is a great day to stop by El Cisne Restaurant located at Sunrise and Swan. Valentine's Day reservations start at 4 p.m. And for any questions, call 520-638-6160 or visit elcisnerestaurant.com.